going to get rid of all the invaders? I don't think anyone can do it alone. We all have to pull together if we're going to beat them. All the factions need to work together. And what if they don't? Then we'll all have to learn to live with the invaders. That's if they let us live. Right now, that's not looking likely. You'll find a way. I know you will. There is one thing, but preserve their magic is something to be truly feared. Even untransformed helix is dangerous. Best to keep away. I've been taking good care of Dex. I can see. How are you, Dex? I'm fine, Mom. Just watching what Dad gets up to. Is that right? Well, then. Good. As long as he's with you or Asgar, I won't worry so much. I think I've had enough for now. I'm going back. All right, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah. Just one more question. Your creative energy. How strong do you think it is? I mean, do you prefer destroying things or creating them? I'm only destructive when I have no other choice, when my life's in danger. That's the right way to be. I hope you stay that way. 
This is really interesting. I never had much chance to talk to you about these things. But anyway, I'm leaving now. Thanks for bringing me with you, Father. Take care of yourself. Don't worry, I will. I hope you'll come see us now and again. Worried you'll be caught?
What the? You have got to be shitting me. If it ain't Jax, as I live and breathe. You remember me. Of course I do. You the bastard who tried to lock me up way back for stealing chems from the dock. <laughs> Not easy to forget someone who tries to put you behind bars. How you doing? Well, I've been through a lot. I bet you have at that. Things sure have changed around here. You saved my life back then, you know. Thanks to you, couldn't get no cams. Man, I was pissed, I can tell you. Well, look at me now, huh? Armor and all. Ain't nobody would have thought old Scrappy would come good in the end. Well, listen to this old silly bastard rambling. What you been up to? So you joined the Berserkers? Best decision of my whole damn life. When Rat came to power, he didn't forget old Scrappy. No, he did not. Made me head of this materials procurement racket. At least that's what we call it anyway. Why would Rat give you the job? Funny. Ask myself the same damn thing. Guess Rat knows he can count on me. Never done him no harm or nothing. Must have been someone better for the job, but I sure as shit fire ain't complaining. Now I do what I does best. Look after the trash. Make sure them iron beaters at the forge got enough metal, and show them new bastards how to scratch iron out of the mountain. Got work for me? You bet your ass cheeks I do, son. Need a few bastards down the mine. Also, been a while since I got a delivery. Would be good if you could check it out, see what's taking them assholes so long. Give them a hand if there's a problem or something. Would you do that for old Scrappy? No problem. I can work in the mine. That's what I like to hear. Just head southeast, past the World Heart. The mine's easy to spot. Big hole in the cliff. Come back when you know something, okay? Can you teach me something about mining? Of course I can teach you something. What do you want to know? Can't you see I'm busy?
just can't do that yet. can't do that yet. I've had enough. This is my last log. Kicked out of the seedling fields, banned from working as a scrap collector, and sent to the mines. I'm telling you, whoever listens to this, Rat is doing this on purpose. I'm getting the fuck out. I'll stop my own gang, hire some of the old boys in a terrace. I'll leave my shit here, I won't need it anyway. Not if I can rob enough to keep my head above water. Fucking Thor Hilled and fucking Scrappy can kiss my fucking ass! Seriously! Whoever finds this shit can keep it. And if you're fed up with the Berserkers too, come find me. I'll bring back the glory days of the old outlaws. No Baxter or Rat, no Logan or Nasty. I'll be the king. And anyone who questions me dies. Once my gang is big enough, I'll take back the fort. Yeah. Hey, Willie, what are you doing back there? Now fuck off, you... Let Scrappy know.
Maggot! Back from the mine. Everyone's dead. What the fuck are you talking about, Jax? What the hell happened? I think the mine was flooded with gas. It reeked. Well, damn. That explains why the poor bastards ain't been sending shit. You wanted into the fort, right? Go to Fenris. Someone's gotta tell him what happened. If we ain't getting no iron from the mine, well, that's a real shit sandwich. What if they don't let me into the fort? Just tell God her I sent you. And don't let that motherfucker scare you off. But you gotta hurry, son. This is a fucking emergency. Wrong entrance, pal. See Gardar at the main gate. Where do I find that? Northwest of here. You can't miss the entrance. Now scram. Bound to go wrong. Yeah, you better keep that to yourself.
Not now. Wait a second. Where do you think you're going? You can't just waltz in here. You think I'm just standing here for my health? You know, I don't really... Don't interrupt me. Stryker, what do I expect when I'm talking? Uh... That's right, shut up! Out with it. What do you want? I'm looking to get into the fort. Spit it out. Listen up. You don't belong here, so this is the end of the line for you. And one more thing. The guards have orders to throw any trespassers out of the fort. Save yourself the hassle of climbing over the walls. Cause we're on our toes. Right, Striker? Uh... <laughs> you see? Wide awake. If you've got nothing else to say, make yourself scarce. Pronto. Scrappy sent me. I need to talk to Fenris. What do you need to talk to Fenris about? I'll tell him myself. But I want to hear it. Let me pass if you care about the Iron Mind at all. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Before I let you in, you gotta know the rules. You can move around the fort freely. Except for the Upper District. Only a chosen few can go there. If you try to get in, the guards will take care of you. If you steal something, the guards will take care of you. If you start a fight, the guards will take care of you. And if you've got a knife to someone's throat... I get it. The guards will take care of me. Nope. That's when we bury you. You get the point? Okay, go on, get out of here. What about a tour of the place? Of course, the tour. The boss is sick of all the newcomers' questions. Stryker can show you around the fort, okay? I wasn't really listening to what Gardar told you. But you must want to know where to get food. I can explain that and more on the way. There's bound to be a few things you don't know about. I remember the fort from back in the day. Sure, but one look at all this green shit everywhere and you'll realize how much things have changed. So if you do want a tour, let me know. Take me on a tour of the camp. I knew you'd change your mind. But I was just getting ready to stretch my legs. Come on then. Living quarters are located directly behind the entrance to the fort. Most cultivators and simple workers live here. You won't find any fucking snobs down here. They all live in the upper district. I'll show you that later, I guess, even though they won't let you in. This is Skinny Soup Kitchen. If you want something to eat and you're short on shards, Skinny's the man to talk to. You wanna grab something before we keep going? No. Let's keep going. Okay. If we head over the bridge, we'll be in the Trade District. Most of the bastards here want real shards for whatever they sell. They're not as agreeable as Old Skinny. Sometimes you'll find traders from other factions here. Don't let them take you for a ride. If it was up to Gardar, they'd all be kicked out. I don't care. Let them trade if they want to. You want to take a look at some of the stalls before we keep going? Yeah, I'll be quick though. Good. Means I can treat myself to a smoke.
Ah, a valued customer. Yeah, please, feel free to browse my wares. You won't regret it. Whatever you need, whatever your circumstances, I'm the merchant for you. Uh, you are going to buy something, aren't you? Okay, what do you have? Wares beyond your wildest dreams. Doesn't look all that impressive to me. Uh, you're right. Who am I kidding? Business is shit. Hardly have any customers these days. Hey, look, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you bought something. Anything! What's a Morcon doing in Berserker territory? I'm a merchant. Uh, uh, traveling one. Here of all places? Listen, I need the shards to feed my family. But that's none of your business. Why would a stranger care about my life story? Are the Berserkers giving you shit? <laughs> Small understatement, that. The other merchants are doing a great job of scaring off my potential customers. I've tried everything in the book, but not having any luck. You'd think I'm some child-eating monster the way people avoid me. I'm just trying to mind my own business, literally. Things go missing, it's my fault. Things break, it's my fault. Any issues, really, my fault. I can't go back to Caracas empty-handed, so gotta put up with this crap. Why don't you complain? To who? The guards? Heard the phrase, pissing in the wind? Who are they gonna believe, me or the berserker merchants? Besides, the merchants aren't my only problem. You have others? I uh, recently made a deal with the innkeeper, Chloe. I get her some exotic crap from Caracas in return for food rations. Of course I jumped at it. The cuisine in the grotto isn't exactly, uh... Uh, overburdened with variety. But, uh... Oh, not this crap again. Hold on. Hands where I can see him, Scab! We were just... Shut it! What the fuck is that? That right there? This? It's just... Psh, junk. Low-grade shit. No, no, I never dream of selling. Shut it, asshole. I'm on the lookout for goods that aren't of legal standard. Huh, this looks, uh, barely above board. Must be your lucky day, pal. Does that mean we're done here? You're gonna wait here like a good little boy till I say we're done. Your turn, pal. Is this Morgon merchant trying to peddle third-rate shit? What makes you say that? Just answer the damn question! Back off. We were just talking. Just talking, huh? Haven't you heard all the complaints? Sky-high prices, shitty goods... None of that's true. It's all lies! Wasn't asking you, shit brain. Shut it! If I notice anything suspect, Anything at all, they'll be trouble. So watch yourself, that's what I say. Are you finished? You better not be disrespecting me. Yeah, we can leave it there. Carry on. <sighs> not a day goes by that I don't get accused of some made up bullshit. It's a never-ending cycle. But anyway, not your concern. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, where was I? Oh, uh, the innkeeper, yes. As you might have guessed, she didn't uphold her end of the bargain. Why don't you work this out with her? But I can't just leave my wares. Think of what'd happen if I did. 
would you mind bringing this up with Chloe? Find out where my rations are? If you can sort that, I could even take you to Caracas, if you like. Sure you don't want to spend your whole life rotting in this dump, right? Well, what do you say? Sounds good to me. Excellent! A deal with Ivan is always a good one. Just let me know if you're going to see Chloe. You'll need the details. In the meantime, feel free to peruse my wares. You never did get around to it. <sighs> Let's trade. That's what I like to hear. Take a good look around. No rush. Okay, I'll speak to Chloe and see what happened to your rations. Ravok knows I don't have anyone else to turn to. Can't tell you how grateful I am. Uh, Chloe owes me a few pallets of canned meat and spices. But to be honest, I don't care what it is, as long as it's canned. Ideally not rat meat, though. Eh, had my fair share of that, I can tell you. Is that everything? Well, there is one more wrinkle. It could be tough to get to her. You'll first have to get past her doorman. He's as dumb as a post. Takes his job far too seriously as well. At least he does where I'm concerned. Anyway, that's all you need to know. Bye for now. I'm ready. Let's keep going. Okay, one other thing you should know. This district also has the Sleepy Traveler, a hotel for the traders. So, if you ever need a good night's sleep, well, you can get that here. Good to know. Right, well, let's keep going. On our left, you'll see the Mana Shrine. This is where the real berserkers play around with elix, magic, all that type of shit. I don't touch that stuff. We'll go to my shrine in a minute. Chloe's Berserker Shrine. <laughs> Ugh, shit. And here we are, the most holy of holy places, the bar. Chloe's the only person who got to keep her post when the Berserkers took over. She ran this joint when this place was a desert, and she's still in charge now. The Berserkers like Chloe keep the bar? That's what I just said. 
I know it's hard to believe. I mean, they really changed every other fucking thing. At first, I was like, what is this shit? Why do I have to join these tree huggers? But I got used to it. Their rules make sense when you think about it. And boy, those guys know how to brew beer. I can taste it now. Even the armor's more comfortable than those pieces of shit Baxter used to give us. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about being a berserker. But enough talk. You gonna buy me a beer, or shall we keep going? I'd like to go in and take a look. No problem, I can wait. Just don't forget my beer. You're not coming in here. How come? You look like shit. The people who look like shit mean trouble. What brings someone like you here anyway? I wouldn't want to overload your brain with the answer. You better not overload nothing. I don't like your ugly face. So stay out. Keep going. Well, did you bring me a beer? Of course. Here you go. <laughs> ah, perfect. My grandma always said you make better friends with beer. She was right. Let's keep going. We're almost done. We have to go past the Mana Shrine again and over the bridge. Then we'll be in the last district everyone is allowed to visit. I admit, I can't tell you much about the healers. They're alco... Alco... I mean, they brew potions and shit. I don't understand a word of it. Go talk to them if you're interested. They trained in Goliath, real masters of their trade. The only thing I know is that they make damn good healing potions. I'd be willing to bet they also brew up the stuff Chloe sells. Tour's almost over. Let's keep going. Over there's the entrance to the upper district. Only the rich fucks are allowed in, and rats in charge. I still can't believe they made that bum the boss. Here we are. If you don't have permission to enter the upper district, you should talk to Fenris. He's the only one who can let you in, unless Rat wants to see you. Other than that, you've pretty much seen the whole fort now. Any questions? Where do I find Fenris? Well, no need for a search party. We're right in front of his house. If you're thinking about joining us, he's the man to talk to. How did you end up as a berserker? When the Berserkers took over the fort and chased off the old Duke, tons of outlaws took off and settled in Crater City with Baxter. But I didn't. No fucking way I'm gonna report to Baxter, the bastard. I'll stick with the Rat and the Berserkers. Have to admit, I do miss the high a little, but I'm not going begging to that lot for the sake of a few chems. You used to be addicted to chems? You could say that, yeah. I took him every day before sleep and as soon as I woke up. That shit really makes you the best of the best, but if you do it for too long, it eats at your brain and destroys you. Better stay away, that's my advice. Rat's in charge here? You might know him. He used to be called Crazy Rat. Earned that name by tricking and murdering his way up out of the mud. But everyone seems to have forgotten that part. That man is a smooth talker. He could convince a boulder to float. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I always forget this part. I'm gonna need a few shards from you as payment for the tour. You never said I had to pay you. Yeah, I, I should have mentioned it, but uh, would you have come on the tour if you had to pay? And honestly, I did forget. Well, will you pay? 
Sorry, I'm broke. You know what? Forget it. You bought me a beer. That's more than enough. You're better off making friends with beer. And with a few lousy shards, yeah, yeah. You told me what your grandma said about beer. Ha, right. Well, I better get back to my post. See you around. Am I right in assuming you want access to the upper district for trade, or an audience with our warlord Rat? I... No. Then you must want to join our faction. As I say to everyone, the upper district is off limits. And since that's where Rat is, he won't be able to initiate you into the Berserkers. Scrappy sent me. Everyone in the iron mine is dead. Are you... are you serious? The mine's full of gas. They suffocated. By the sword of Ragnar! Just what we need! Without supplies from the mine, we cannot make weapons and armor. It'll only be a matter of time until we're overrun by those creatures. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Take these shards to Scrappy. What for? Tell Scrappy to use the shards to fix this, however he can. Why isn't anyone allowed in the upper district? Ever since the attack, Rat has further limited access to the upper district. That is why I am so busy at the moment. So if you want to chat, come with me. I need a seat. You look exhausted. Thanks. I've had to handle everything since the attack. Anyone who used to go to Rat now comes to me. People who want to join us, trade in the upper district, anybody. So all I do is stand here and recite the same rules to everyone who asks. But anyway, tell me about yourself. Do you have a name? Jax. Ah, Kaya's friend. I've heard about you. What exactly do you want from me? Is there still a way to get into the upper district? Of course. Rat has to trust you. Simple as that. What do I have to do? Look, you must be the tenth person today who's asked that. You know how Rat loves his rules. Well, he's also come up with a plan for how to gain his trust. He has authorized me to allow anyone who can earn the trust of another paladin into the upper district. So Scrappy, Thorhild, or Tylus are the only ones who can help you. Come back when one of them is willing to vouch for you, then I will set you one last task. It will be a severe test of your loyalty to Rat. But find someone to vouch for you first, okay? I should write this on some flyers and post them around the camp. There was an attack? You haven't been here for a while, have you? Baxter's men tried to blow Rat into tiny lumps. We can't risk a repeat. So that's why nobody's allowed in the upper district now? 
That's right. Only a select few are allowed up there. It's becoming a real problem. Many have business to attend in the upper district, or need to talk to Rat. Now all of them are coming to me. When did the attack happen? A few months back. The whole place was wrecked until recently. It made Rad incredibly paranoid. He cancelled all his appointments, he posted more guards, and then eventually just closed off the upper district. I'm not sure he considered how that would impact Ford operations. Listen, if it were up to me, I'd let you go on up there. But it's not, okay? Right. I should head back outside. Won't be long until the next person comes along asking for access to the upper district. Good luck. What do you want? Stop! The upper part of the fort is for honorable citizens or those with direct invitation from Warlord Rat only. You're not coming in if you don't have a good reason to be here. We'll talk later. Not now. Lost your fucking mind? Did I hear that right? You're not letting someone in because you don't like their face? You let that man through. I hired you to throw drunks out, not keep paying customers away. No buts. I'm off, guys. Don't drink too much. I see. You want a healing elixir for your nose. I'll give you two ointments. Now, where did I put them? The last ointment was... No, one moment. Wait, I'll be right back.
do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? You were gonna give me some sort of ointment. I was? How impertinent of me to be so... presumptuous. Ointments need preparation. Consideration. Wait, what do you actually want? You know I can't give you any work. I already have an assistant. And I can't offer any training. Only my apprentice is allowed that honor. I don't see an apprentice. Well, no. The last one left. He was completely incompetent. So the position is free? By no means. So you found another? That is not what I said. We're going around in circles. Look, I just can't say right now. Sorry, but I must be going. I hope everything is crystal clear. He just won't give up. What is it now? Can we talk about the apprentice position again? Your insistence is unbearable. Allow me to clarify things. Firstly, a new apprentice is already on his way here. Secondly, he's... well, late. And thirdly, you could possibly assist me in changing these circumstances. Grant me the position and your problems will disappear. You have references? A steady hand and sound mind are essential in alchemy. I don't need a hatchet man like you. But if you're genuinely interested in helping me, I welcome you with open arms. Please be a little more specific. Heavens above, not again! I need my old apprentice. Please get him back for me. I'll help you find your apprentice. Excellent. That's the spirit. Look around Western Tavar. I heard he recently left Goliath, so he must be somewhere near there. I wish I could be more specific, but I'm no fortune teller. What does your apprentice look like? Look, I'm not even sure if he's, you know, a man. Do you know his age? I never inquired. How does he dress? How should I know? People wear whatever they like these days. Can't you tell me anything that would help? Don't be impertinent. I already told you, look for him in the West. And now, I really must be getting back to work.
Fenris sent me. It's about the mine. So? What'd he say? He gave me money. Huh. Well, that's a shit ton of shards, but what in the hell are you supposed to do with them? Stuff them in the fucking cracks to stop the leak? You got any bright ideas, son? Buy gas masks? Huh. Guess we could. Fenris gave us enough shards for that. But that ain't so much a solution as sidestepping around the damn problem. I don't even know where to get them. I'll ever think. Not total shit as far as plans go, but we gotta do better than that. Any other ideas? How about sealing up the source of the gas? Well, that sure would work good. But some poor son of a bitch has got to go down there and find the source. Yeah. I know, old Scrappy's already asked a lot. But would you do this for me, too? It's a big ask. That's exactly why I'm asking you, son. We ain't exactly farting out options here, are we? But look at me. Skinny old bastard all busted up by chems. I wouldn't last a damn minute. It better be worth the effort. I'll make damn sure it is. You should take some of Fenris's money. Get yourself some healing potions or some shit like that. You know what? Hang on. I think I got a gas mask around here somewhere. It's crap. But it might help a little. You look around the mine. I'll think up plan B. Fucked if I know what it'll involve, but leave it to old Scrappy. I want to become a berserker. Best idea you ever had, son. Glad to give it, boy. Oh, thanks. Just as soon as you help with this mine clusterfuck. I knew there'd be a catch. Don't get shitty with me, son. Got clear instructions from Rat. And I'm gonna follow him. You help me out, you get my vote. You scratch my scabby old ass, I'll scratch yours. Or something like that. <laughs>